Can you please Hadith. tell him that I love him very much and that I want to meet him in person? Next fight, you're gonna fight for the title. <laughs> Light with belt. The Quran Li app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix. Encouraging Quran reading. Modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. <laughs> I cannot believe that I missed this story. No, not Boris Johnson standing under an umbrella and still managing to get wet. I mean, we we just don't have the time to unpack that, yeah? Even if Einstein himself was here, he'd have to rethink his whole theory, to be honest. So a few weeks ago, a 66-year-old superfan stood out in the blazing heat, yeah, for hours, holding up a placard requesting that she gets an autograph of the legend Habib Nurmagomedov. This lady since like in the morning, since the morning, wait here and she's not Tell gonna Tell him I'll wait home. as long as he wants me to. You're gonna come wait up tonight. Okay, I'll wait. Now Habib of course wasn't around, yeah? Otherwise knowing him, he'd probably come out straight away. But his protege, his student, Islam Machev, he saw what was going on and came out. Man, Habib not, not gonna come today. Yes, he's not gonna come today. He's also an MMA athlete, grew up with Habib and is now his main student. So he arranged for some merch to be signed for her and the guys had to take an hour round trip just to make it happen because Habib wasn't in the area. If you wanna find me, please just send me location. All of this kerfuffle then caught the attention of Dana White, who's the president of the UFC, who organized for her to meet with Habib and also watch Islam Machev fight live, which she also wanted as well. Okay, okay, now we talk. <laughs> now these guys, yeah, went above and beyond for her. Why? You have, you have to give respect to all people. How hard is it right now? Just to put in perspective. Yeah, because you know how, how hot now she stayed two hours here. Yes, that's right. Because she's an old lady. And in Islam, and <laughs> by Islam, we're taught to respect our elders. I know what you guys are thinking, it's common sense, we know this, are you serious? Yes, I am. Because the people that dislike Habib, like Conor McGregor, yeah? And Conor McGregor, might I remind you, punched an old man in a pub whilst drinking his whiskey. The same whiskey that he offered Habib, knowing that he's a Muslim. And yes, the same whiskey that he admits drinking prior to getting smashed or smashed by Habib during that legendary fight. Like my plan is make him fled. So on the one hand, yeah, you've got Conor McGregor. He puts out tweets in which he mocks the dead father of Habib. He calls the wife of his latest opponent a hoe and threatens to murder him in the ring. I mean, this guy is desperate to stay relevant. In fact, his latest fight with Dustin Poirier, he said he's gonna, he's gonna send him out in a stretcher. K.O. out on a stretcher. And what was ironic was Connor broke his leg <laughs> in the ring and had to get carried out in a stretcher. Yet yeah, even now he's given it all that and he's attracting other vultures like him. Jake Paul, who is mocking him as well, he's got a pendant <laughs> in which you know, Connor's on the floor looking pathetic, which is ironically taken from his getting demolished by Habib. And then of course, on the other hand, you've got Habib Nurmagomedov, who is willing to go that extra mile for an old lady. And might I add, a Christian old lady. She's a Christian because look, look how she reacted when she finally got what she wanted. Yeah, look, she's making the cross sign. And he also gave up his career because of a promise that he made to his mother. And now he spends his day training up his protege, his apprentice, Islam Makchev. So guys, there's a lot to learn 
from the legend who still continues to go on inspiring despite him being retired and he's made it clear that he's not making a comeback. Yeah, may Allah bless Habib even more and may Allah in this time of fitna and facade, of trials and tribulations, may Allah make us a beacon, yeah, that light in the dark room. Yeah, even if it's one light and it's a big room and that one light stays lit, it offers hope for all the inhabitants of that room. Everybody in that room benefits from that one light, no matter how small it is. Let's not become sheep, let's become shepherds. All right guys, let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.